had a great winter and really kind of got into a rhythm, did you feel like you you turned a corner personally or on the team in in where you were with your with your game? You know, I think that everything has been uh, baby steps for this team because when you get to this team, you know, it's it's the cream of the crop, it's the top, um, it's what you dream of getting to your entire life. So when you finally get to this team, um, you want to work hard to make that, to break that starting lineup to get some more playing time. And coming off of the World Cup, you know, I was coming off the bench getting uh, five minutes, 30 minutes, and now breaking into that starting lineup, I feel like, you know, I have turned a page and now I, I am embracing this new role going into the Olympics um, than I had going into the World Cup. And having that experience from the World Cup, I just feel a lot more comfortable with my role and um, I just feel like I'm able to help contribute to the team's success even more um, being on the field and having done pretty well in the last couple of months with this team. The team's goal, obviously, for the Olympics is pretty clear. Um, is it, is it, you must have your own, though, as well. Is it hard to separate them, or do you kind of have to put them, put them aside uh, in, in, in a competition like the Olympics? You know, I, I've grown up playing team sports my entire life, so I, I really don't think that my individual goals and the team's goals are, are very much different at all. I think, you know, number one priority is is making sure we're standing up at the top of the podium at the end of the game, right. getting that gold medal. So I, I think that I could speak for my teammates and say that that's what everyone wants, and especially coming off of um, a World Cup final loss and coming home with the silver medal, we're, we're even hungrier for the gold medal. So I think that we all have that in our minds right now. That's a priority for us. Terrific. Um, I know you'll see the Japanese again um, in the, in a few weeks. Um, besides the Japanese and Brazil, is there anybody that kind of really needs to be on your radar going to London? You know, since there's only 12 teams, uh, every team has been preparing so so frequently together as a team, yep. and it's been, um, you know, I think even qualifying for the Olympics um, for each of the teams has has been a challenge. So now looking forward into our group, uh, we were actually going to face France, who we played in the semifinals, sure. yep. and you know they they really challenged us, and we're a very technical team and. Um, have a kind of adopted a style of play that is not so common in women's soccer. So um, we really respect them as a team and uh, think that they're going to be one of our tough opponents going into the Olympics.